Daily recap real fast. Uh, most of the stuff was in the live stream, so we'll keep it very, very short. GU, same exact logic. They buy this. All this internal, internal low during New York, as well as 8.30 news in general. Oil ended up pressing higher into New York. Had a couple equal highs to expand to. 8.30, coming into the one-minute breaker we pointed out during that session, as well as the breaker setup at 10 o'clock to 10.20 going into inventory. Um, the only thing that really stunk was the short itself did not work out. But really for what we had on the long setup for the breaker, as well as just the reading in general is pretty much there. Uh, UCAD, uh, we still are holding this. We were going for 7 a.m. lows. We are pretty much there. I almost took the rejection block. We pretty much watched it live, but I just didn't do it. After it traded back into this to be here and started pushing away, we just said screw it and sold stop it and went short. So trying to see if we can still reach to that. No reason it really can't, but we still have that trade open on demo technically. So cues though. Very, very nutty. So, I took a nap all through PM session, so the move itself was just sporadic. But as for the intraday itself, the biggest thing I want to point out is the idea of offsetting. This order block here still existed at every moment in time. So, if you're going to close your PD arrays, the most immediate thing to run for are for failure swings. So in this case, all these here, and it's just to hit something to allow the market to deliver back bullish, or it's going to hit the first thing that that makes it flip bullish. So this order block here was 100% valid and showed its hand. However, it just stopped at an area that would cause the market to shift delivery back bullish and then trade through it. And then same thing here, internal run into Abyssy, continue pressing higher. Goes through the macro, you actually get a short offered just to go for a long, and then you're out by like noon, noon 30. Dow and ES, same exact thing. We just kind of traded lower up until the um, up until the PM session and did the exact same thing though. So really, overall was it was pretty nice today. I will say the only real mishap again was that oil short off inventories. But even looking back on that, it was, it, it was a, if you saw the live stream, it was a mixed bag of directions prior going into it. So, and it was a idea of all or nothing. It was bound to, it was bound to go higher. So, just more so executing on that direction and everything like that. But by all means, everything else was flawless delivery that we all saw live. So I will leave it at that. Live stream is there for anyone that wants to watch it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.